Employment Report Surprises to the Upside. I'm Brent Wilsey with Wilsey Asset Management. I was surprised to see the continued strength in the labor market as the growth of headline non-farm payrolls of 254,000 in the month of September, well, that easily topped the estimate of 150,000 jobs. Strength came from leisure and hospitality, which saw payrolls grow 78,000 thanks to a nice spike of 69,000 jobs from food services and drinking places. Other positive sectors include healthcare and social assistance, that was up 71.7 thousand jobs, government plus 31 thousand, and construction increased 25 thousand jobs. Only two sectors saw declines in the month from manufacturing, losing 7 thousand jobs, and transportation and warehousing, well that was also down 8.6 thousand jobs. Both July and August saw upward revisions to the reports for a combined total increase of 72,000. Wage inflation was also strong in the month as average hourly earnings grew 4% compared to last year. This is up from last month's reading of 3.8% but still remains substantially below last year's high of 5.92%. Pre-COVID, wage growth was in the low to mid 3% range. Overall, this report didn't have many problems. The only concern is, did the Fed move too soon and could inflation still be the larger concern rather than a weakening labor market? This report did increase expectations for November rate cut to be 0.25% rather than 0.5%. I would have been shocked if the Fed would have opted for another 0.5% cut, even if the jobs report wasn't this strong. 